Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be reviewing the Tecman Evil figure from Figma. And this is Figma number 145. If you guys haven't checked out my uh, Tecman Blade review yet, please go ahead and do so by clicking the annotation below. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get you started. This is Tecman Evil. So, you can see he's got a totally different design than Tecman Blade. It's also a lot more spikier, so make sure you use caution when you're posing with this figure. The last thing you want is damage your collections. There you go. Okay, so before we get into the actual figure, let's talk about some of the accessories included for this particular figure. Uh, like Tekken and Blade, this figure actually came with five pairs of hand. So let's have a look at them and see what they do. So let me here, let me show you. So we have five pairs of hand here that came with the figure. So first off you have your clawing hand. So as you can see these two are the clawing hand. And you got your uh, fisted hand here which is the default choice for the figure out of the box. And then you have your uh, groove hands here. This groove hand is used to hold weapons and actually diff two different ty type of grooves for this figure. Uh, one of the grooves actually goes straight down so if you look at the, f the fist here the indentation goes straight down so that means when you put in a lance it will hold it vertically at, and another set of hands here holds the lance slightly vertically so it's, what I mean by that is that instead of going down like that the group allows the weapon to be held sideways like so or slightly sideways so that kind of gives a little bit more possibility to the figure so that's pretty much it again you got the clawing hand, you got a fisted hand, you got a little open hand to put in weapons and you got your open pawn hand okay now obviously I'm only showing four hands because four pairs of hand because the other pair is on the figure itself so moving on, we have the lance, obviously. So this is the Tekken Evo's lance. And it looks slightly different than Tekken Blades in the sense that it's, you know, it's got more sharp pointy ends. And it's also a lot bigger. So you should see here, this is Tekken Blades lance. And this is Tekken Evo's lance. So I can do this. There we go. Okay. So moving on, he's also got, like Tekken and Blade actually, the figure also came with an alternate sculpt for the face, so here it is, this is Tekken and Evil's face, or alternate face here, you here you can see that it's got the, the two separate separated eyes instead of the visor eyes, so I'm just going to try to zoom in for you guys so you can get a better look at it, here you go. Okay, and it also comes with the accessories to make the shoulder shoulder swords. So I'll show you that in a second here. So that's part of the accessory. It's also got an adapter piece which will be slide into the shoulder, and I'll show you that how it's done in this review. So aside from that, Techman Blade also came with the lance accessory. So this is pretty much the same as this lens, it's just that this is the form when the lens splits open. So in the, I think in the TV series, the lens occasionally splits into a windmill-like formation and Tekken Blade, or Tekken Evil use it to attack Blade. So, you know, that's very nice that Tigma is able to include this accessory to make it. So it's actually four different pieces and each of the blade has a set hole, a peg hole. And then what you do is you just plug into the peg. So really, nothing very special about it. One thing I will watch out for though when I'm posing with this figure is that these peg or the the holder here, the cross holder, is actually very fragile. So make sure you treat it with care when you're playing with the figure or when you're posing with the figure. Okay, so moving along here. Uh, I promise I was going to show you guys the shoulder blade, so I'm going to show you how that's done. 
So this is Tekemen Evil, and the armor here can actually be pulled off. So watch how it's done. Here you go, it just comes off. You see that there's actually a indentation here, and this in th this groove fits onto the rail here on the armor. I don't know if you guys can see, but here it is, the rail. And uh, essentially, you just fit the groove to the rail, and you slide it in and out. And that's pretty much all that's to it. So it can take off pretty easily, but at the same time, when you put it back on, it stays very well. So that's a very nice design. Thank you for implementing that, Figma. So to make the shoulder blade here, you connect the blade piece to the hole here that corresponds with the peg so the sword gets stuck in there and then you want to include a pad here this is one of the accessories that came with it and it's actually left and right dependent so make sure you grab the right one so in this case I grabbed the wrong one so this one here if you look at the armor here there's actually a hole here so you can see there but if you look at armor there's actually a hole here so this is the peg unit I was talking about so this peg will go into the hole here like so and it form a formation like this so you see that it actually kind of makes an extension of the, of the shoulder armor and what you can do then is find the peg hole here on the Tekken Evil's arm and you can peg the blade onto it so let me just show you so for example I'm just going to put an arm so it's easy to see so this here goes on to the peg hole on the arm and just kind of pegs in like so and you just close it and there you go here I think when Evo's got his shoulder blade gimmick there it is very simple looks very nice fits very well very articulated oops one thing to note that it does fall off quite easily so again treat with care when you're playing when you're handling this figure ouch that is sharp. There you go. Oh, it doesn't go in. Okay. Sorry it took so long, but here's a blade. Voila. Okay. So moving on here. Uh, what else can be said about Tekken Evil? It's pretty much got the same articulation point as Tekken Blade Figma. So if you have Tekken Blade, you pretty much should expect the same amount, same level of articulation. Um, let me just take off the shoulder piece and get on with the review. There you go. I'm gonna return the arm, the shoulder armor, and we'll continue with the review here. Okay, so like Tekken Evil or like all Figma figures actually include the stand. So there you go, that's very nice of them. Okay, so in terms of posability or in terms of gimmicks, other gimmicks, uh, that's different from Tekken Blade, is the inclusion of wings in the back of uh, Tekken Evil. So these wings are actually articulated. You can move up, you can close it like that, or you can open it like so. And pretty much peg into the arm, the unit itself. So you can see the peg hole there. Now the problem is this that it's actually very loose and when you're playing with it, it comes out very easily. So it's not a very good design, I don't think. And I wish that they had a better way of uh, implementing it. So this is the wing here and there is a joint here pretty much. Ah, so this is the joint, this is the upper wing and this is the lower wing. Shoot, sorry. So this is the upper wing here and this is the lower wing and just there's a peg hole, you peg it right in there and then you find the back of Tekken Evils and you find the peg hole here and you just kind of insert it and voila, bam. There you go. So in terms of uh, posability, it's a little bit, I guess, it's a little bit less, a little bit more reduced than Tekken 
E taking a blade because it's got all these associated that might fall off. But not only that, because of the armor design, the movement is also somewhat restricted. For example, if you're looking at the shoulder armor here, the shoulder armor actually provides very little room for the head to move. So if I want to move left and right, I'm not able to do that. Also, if I want to move my arm up, I have to watch out the shoulder because it will go into the head. So that's kind of annoying. As well, because the back armor here is a big piece, it does get into the way of articulation. So I'm not able to do a full split like I would if I had taken my blade. So the only thing I can do is up to here. Whereas taking my blade can split all the way up and a little bit more. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Articulation wise, it goes up here and can close all the way up to here. And again, the ankle can move up like that. And the heel piece does move as well, so it can close up, or you can you can move back down. All right. Uh, one thing you have to be really careful when you're posing with this figure is that this point is very sharp. It's also very thin, so it's pretty much going to break very easily if you drop it. So make sure you don't drop your toys, and make sure you don't get it caught onto whatever when you are posing. Okay, so having said that, let's go back to the arms here and look at the arms. Articulation pretty much the same. You can go sideways, forward, you can bend upward like that. But that's about as far as you can with the bend because the shoulder, because the armor design will get in the way. So you can't really move your arm all the way up. Alright, so once again, it goes up to here and it goes here. And uh, what else can be said about it? The torso torso is not as articulated as Tegman Blade. A Tegman Blade has a two points of articulation for the Figma figure. One point is up here, and another one on the bottom here. For Tegman Evil, I noticed that it's pretty much you know you're not getting any movement on a top piece, but rather you're getting most of your uh, movement on a lower pivot point so that means you can only move the back down like so so this is the lowest this is the furthest it will move so if you look at the figure here here is then here is the hunched version and if you look at it straightened so that's about the straightenest and that's about as hunched as it can get so there's actually not that much articulation going on so that's too bad but uh, you know you don't need to have your character look hunched to look good and uh, I think that's pretty much sums up all the toy this is a very nice articulated figure and it will fit really well with Tekken and Blade so be sure to get both if you haven't already and yeah just really pose them side by side is very sweet very cool I highly recommend getting this figure you can still pick it up at AmiNami.com for around $40. And yeah, if you guys have any questions or any concerns or just want to leave nice feedbacks, let me know and post it on the comment section below. Okay? And that pretty much concludes my review. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time, man. Eh?